Hi everyone. I was looking at the cover and I couldn't work out what was missing. I thought it's that picture there. It looks like it was just sort of stuck on as an afterthought. So what I've done is I've taken one of the twigs. I hope that's showing up. I just turn the light on. Ah, that's better. And I've wrapped some um, gold coloured wire around it and I've just simply glued it on. I used beading wire. This is 24 gauge, this wire. And a trusty pair of pliers. Right, that's got that out of the way. So I've finished that off. I decided to put the, the metal tag thing on with a little uh, laundry, uh, I don't know, safety pin type of thing up here. So I am now happy with the cover. So I thought, right, today <laughs> I am desperately trying to get ahead with the videos because it's my birthday and I can't, I've got quite a few things on next week or this week. So I'm trying to get ahead with the video. So a simple page layout. I'm trying to take the cover off. I'm going to do it across two pages. So I was having a look round and I found I've got these two sets of dies. So both thinlets, both Tim Holtz. As much as I think his stuff is overpriced, it's um <laughs> it does it does do what I want it to do. So these are dies that cut uh, if I find some paper. They don't cut out a shape as such, they cut out there you go, so you can see it there. So I love the Harlequin design. Um, I do like that. Let's get rid of those two pages. I've been rusting everything. I've got rusty paper. I've been rusting bits of metal. This is just paint on rust. I haven't um, got as far as experimenting with. I know Andrea, Andrea Allen, Artemis had a um, a tutorial on rusting stuff but I haven't got as far as looking at it so let's start with this side I, the idea is to put this into a pocket but obviously that's a bit of an odd shape so I've gone ahead and I, I have cut all this stuff out so to keep with the grunge type theme let's rip that corner off and that will go as a pocket. I'm going to stick with, oh you can hardly read them, I trash that over the years, walnut stain. So I'm just going to keep on with that I think. And I'm not going to stick it down straight away but I'm just going to get it ready for doing it. So that will go on. No, actually in shot. no way. That will, I'm hoping, fit on there. Before I do that, I've got yet yeah, another Tim Holtz. Honestly, I am not a groupie. It's just the way it's gone. I want to put, I've got two oxides, so we've got peel paint and ice spruce. I am going to mix and match. And I want it up here because the pocket obviously is going to go at the bottom. So I'm going to go in first with the ice spruce, so the darker colour in this in effect. This <laughs> this um stencil has really taken the hammer in over the years. Come on Zoe, don't move it. Right, I'm thinking that should be enough. Okay, so if I move that to the one side and then get the peel paint. And what I'm going to do is just move it over slightly. And then what you get is a kind of shadow effect. 
but at least that's what I'm hoping I'm going to get. It does look quite bright, but it's... If I take it away, yay! <coughs> I don't know, actually, if that's showing up, but you get a kind of shadow effect on there. Now I'm going to do the same on the facing page. So I'll we'll start with the darker again. So most of this I think will be covered up, so I'm just going to do it around the edges. Move it over. There we go. And they're covered in inks. I do like that technique. That works wonderfully. Okay, we have two pages so I am going to go ahead and that's the back of a pad I used for the monochrome one I think it is quite good how they're all I, I am trying to get them to follow on Oh, it's been ages since I've worked with coffee stain paper. You forget what a pain it can be. Okay, we have a side done. Now this side. Same principle, I've taken the piece of that packing paper and I've cut it because I'm thinking I am going to make a pocket to go on there. Well not a pocket but like a kind of wrap type thing. Now I've got some music paper which I want to use as a background and I've got various bits. So I found that picture and I thought that looked quite quite sweet. I wanted contrasting colours I like that. I have some of this crochet trim which I never seem to use normally. I am going to cut the bottom off there. This journal is going to go is um, for my granddaughter. No, I thought that might go on there. I don't know, I've got lots and lots of bits. No, that doesn't work. Do you know what? Let's take the crochet off. That works. Except it's too big. Oh, that looks better. Now I've got a load of these washi tape sticker things. So I'm thinking that might go on there. determined to use this I kept it and it's like what am I going to do with it 
Oh, that's something else I've done. I um, decided to rough some corrugated cardboard because I wanted to see what it looked like. So I'm just going to trim this and see if I can use it on here. different. Right, I need to grunge these up a bit. So, this paper is really old anyway, but I've um, got a bit, oh actually I wonder if that side might look better. It's got a lot of gold, gold paint on it. I'm going to be covering most of it up anyway. What I want to do with this bit is to make a flap that comes over. I need to sort of tear rid of the big piece. Oh, I'm liking that. So it becomes like a kind of hidden... You can sort of see it. Okay. Let's... this up. This packing paper is sort of shiny on the one side. It's um, also quite delicate. <laughs> okay. Well it was shiny and then I took a load of uh, so I've got that roughly where I want it. Stick it down. I have. Oops. Some washi. Let's get this a bit. It's a bit of a Tim Holtz fest, this is, because this is also Tim Holtz washi, but it's not very good. There are much better, it doesn't stick very well, I found this doesn't stick very well for what I want. But it's the right pattern, so that makes it a bit of a nuisance, so I can't see. I don't want too much. Oops. Let's turn that one down, otherwise it won't turn. Okay, I'm just going to line this up to the edge of the page and maybe just in a bit. Go for some difference. It's 
Let's go for some moss. Ooh. Do you know, I don't think I've ever used this one. go for that side because I think there will just be too much going on with all that gold on quite well so hence plenty of glue. Let's put it down there over the washi and hope it holds the washi down. That still closes. Colour to this. Where are all these going? I'm trying to get a face in there, but it's having none of it. Ah, there we go. Right, so if I get a face in, I can't get these bits in. probably need to use the glue gun. Let's just switch it on see what. Okay, let's see how much of a mess I can make with this. Ooh. And I haven't burnt myself yet. I don't think it's quite up to temperature, actually. <coughs> uh, wires everywhere. Mm. 
Oh, actually, I think she should go down there a bit. Oh, perfect. Right, for that little bit, I am going to use some proper glue. And I can dig the strings out after. Now I'm going to put... See if I can actually peel these off. Ah, let me end over. sort of, I'm hoping, ties it all together and holds that bit of the photo down. Okay, let's bend that bit under. <coughs> now I really want to use this piece of wooden somewhere, but for the life of me I can't see where. I suppose it could go that side. Well, that's sort of like a bit of a picture frame, doesn't it? How about there? Okay. Let's go for those. Oh, I like that. I'm not sure if it needs this, but you know what? I like it. <laughs> and I'm determined to use this piece. And when you get a piece of paper and you're thinking, it's going to be used. Oh, I like that. Okay, we'll go for that way. Oops. And it ties all the bits together. Woohoo! Oh. Okay, there's some glue <coughs> I never knew existed before. Get rid of that. And that looks quite good with the bits coming up. Get, pull some bits down. Can we get another piece up? So there we have more glue. 
a very simple page layer. I hope it's given you some inspiration. Right, on that note, I will speak to you all later, tomorrow. Right, take care now. Bye.